Hi there, Yvonne. It's Sarah Bagley here with um, the video I've promised you <laughs> um, on how to post a blog post to your website. Um, I hope you can hear me okay. I actually lost my voice last weekend, so I'm a little uh, husky. <laughs> um, but I'll try and do my best here. Um, okay, so what you're going to do is log in and you know the, the good old dashboard here. So where you're going to go is posts and you can just hover over posts and hover down to add new. Click on that and here's where you can add your new blog post. Um, so I recommend writing or typing your blog post in a separate, you know, such as Microsoft Word or um, another um, word processing program, just so you have it backed up and saved. Um, WordPress, you know, has been known to eat entire blog posts. <laughs> um, if it if it crashes, then you'll lose everything. But if you've got it backed up in your word processing program and saved, then you should be okay. So I've got a sample here um, that I'm just going to bring in. This You won't see this in the dashboard, but it's just my little window of a sample. So um, this is my sample blog post. So I'm first going to put in the headline, just to copy and paste. Title is the headline and it goes here. Where'd it go? Here it is. Um, get that out of the way. Okay, so the rest of it, I'm just going to copy and paste the entire thing. Copy. And this is the window. This is this is the content window. So it's just going to get pasted in here. And I like to go up. I like to view it in the visual tab. You'll see visual and text. Visual gives you a visual, um, so you can kind of, you know, play with the spacing, kind of, you know, make it look nice. Um, if you've got a subhead, just go ahead and highlight that and go up to par go up here. So it'll say paragraph, but you can make it and heading to. That'll give you a nice subhead look. Um, it'll look different on your site because of the styling, but for here it'll just show you that it'll be a little bit bigger, a little bit bolder. Okay, so I'm just gonna, oops, make this look all nice. Okay, I've got a quote here. And the quotes are not going to be here. They're actually going to be under the text. So that'll show you some coding. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to see your blog post here. And this is where you can put in the code under the text tab. So here's the code that you're going to copy and paste in div class equals quote right in front of the quote and you're going to close it with a close div right right on the back of the quote and then for the name who said the quote same thing you're going to copy and paste this in div class equals quote name and that goes right in front of the name and you're going to close it with a close div. Okay, so that's what it'll look like. Your, your quote will be here with quote marks. It'll just be preceded by div class quote equals quote, and it'll have a close div behind it. The name will have div class equals quote name, quote underscore name, and it'll be closed with a close div. That will give you the coding for the styling of a quote. Okay, so I'm not going to publish this one because we don't want it to publish. This is on the live site. Um, 
I'm just going to show you a couple more things. Okay, so the text tab is where you're going to do the coding for the quote. If you go back to visual, your quote won't look any different here, but that's okay. It'll look great on the site. Okay, so um, just a couple more things here. Within this visual, this visual tab, you can do things like italic and bold. Um, if you have bullet points, you can style those here too. Right there, bullet list. Oops, that one's funny. There we go. It's kind of squirrely tonight. There we go. Bullet point three. Okay, so that's what your bullet points will look like, or numbered lists. You can do both or either. Um, okay, just a few little things here, and we should be good. Okay, so um, if you want an image for your blog post, you're going to come all the way down here to Featured Image. Um, this is going to be the main image of your site, such, or not your site, your blog post. The main image of your blog post. This is your featured image. So to add that, go all the way down on the right to Featured Image, Set Featured Image, and then you're going to go Upload Files, select your file, I need just something that I can use. I don't know what I have here. A picture of me. <laughs> okay. So this window will look like this. File upload, open, and you get your featured image. And then just some some little SEO tips you're going to title it. Let's say this is a blog post about executive speaking. You can call it Yvonne Ingalls Philosophy Executive Speaking. And then alt text is pretty important. So you can call it executive speaking. Give it a description, same as the title, that's fine. And then you just say, set featured image. OK. OK, and it'll show up here, featured image. Now, I'm not going to publish it. We're just going to preview it. And here's what it'll come up with. Your headline will be all set, the date posted by, number of comments, there's your featured image. All right, text, there's your subhead, bullet points, quote. And then this will automatically come up. People can comment. And this automatically comes up as well. I put this at the bottom of each blog post, your little opt-in. Um, so that's what an individual blog post will look like. Okay, so under posts you have this button all posts. If you click it you'll be able to see a list of all the posts that you're going to post. Right now we only have the one. And I wanted to show you the permalink. This is the URL for this individual post. And this is the link that you're, if you wanted to do social media and say, okay, check out my new blog post, this is the, the URL that you want to use for this individual blog post. And, <clears throat> pardon me, if you say post it into Facebook, 
the f featured image will pop up automatically. That's why that featured image is so important for SEO. Um, let's see. Oh, what else I can show you is the SEO stuff within an individual post. So down here, there's an auto save. Hmm, okay, we can ignore that. All right, so down below the post content window, you'll see this window, Yoast SEO. This is a plugin for WordPress that will help you um, get the most out of your um, out of your posts, and it will help your your website be found by uh, search engines and ultimately your audience. Um, so this it's really helpful, but it can be a little squirrely. It's okay if um, if if your SEO is not perfect. <laughs> um, we just do the best we can. So um, basically, this will give you a preview of what it will look like in Google. So this will be the headline because this is the headline, um, and it'll give the URL and a little a little um, synopsis. So you are able to set that. If you posted a blog post about executive speaking, the title would be here, and then this whole description you can set right here, meta description. If you wanted to, you know, put in the first couple sentences of your blog post here, or a custom, a custom description, that's okay too. Um, SEO title, it's grayed out because you don't really need to do anything, it's just the title is the SEO title. Um, it's basically telling you, okay, what Google and the search engines will be looking at. Um, focused keyword, now this will be blank when you post a new post, and you can set it. You can put, let's say again, executive speaking as your focus keyword, and it'll tell you, okay, we found that in the title. Well, I mean, we can use excitement of becoming as as this example. It, we found it in the title. <clears throat> Pardon me again. We found it in, okay, the article heading and the page title, the page URL, and the content, and the meta description. So this is giving us the green light that we've done well with our SEO for this post. Um, and you can kind of play with it once you post your new blog post and let me know if I can help in any way because I know it's a little confusing because we're not doing it live. I just didn't want to mess with this with this one since it's already published. Um, but if you if you need any help when you're posting your new blog post, let me know. Um, basically pick a focus keyword for your blog post and then it'll tell you, okay, you've got it in you know the heading, the URL, you're doing good. Um, you can also look under page analysis. Now this is a little crazy because there's so many little things, but it's basically telling you the keyword density for your focused keyword was is a bit low. The keyword was only found one time. So let's say again, if you're going to do a post about executive speaking, you want to sit, you want to have the phrase executive speaking in the body of your post. You know, as many times as it is natural, um, but they want you to put it in. You know, a few times to, just to just to let your audience know. Okay, this is you know, this is what this is about. Um, no outbound links appear on this page, that's okay. It says consider, you know, it'll give you little helpful hints. Consider adding some as appropriate. It's not required, but um, you know, every little bit helps. Okay, no subheading tags like an H2 appear in the copy. So remember when I posted that um, sample post, I made a subhead, I, I hi highlighted it, highlit, highlighted it, and then 
made it a heading two, so that's what this is saying. Um, subheads will be marked H2, and those can help your SEO as well. Um, so like I say, play around with with this stuff. Setting the focus keyword can be, you know, kind of trial and error, um, but I don't think it's really going to make or break anything. It's just, you know, something to think about each time we post a new blog post. The key to SEO really is keeping fresh content on your site, so you want to post a new blog post at least at least once a month. I think that would be the minimum. Um, just to keep, you know, keep the site fresh and the search engine little robots will um, give a higher ranking to sites with fresh content. Um, let's see, I think, I think that's it uh, for this little video that I wanted to tell you. Um, again, please let me know if I can help. Um, and I hope I haven't confused or muddy the waters in any way. Um, I just gave you a few little things to think about with SEO. Um, but yeah, to sum up, we paste in our text, title, featured image. And then we um, go ahead and look at the SEO and set our focus keyword and it'll tell us how good we are doing with our keywords. Okay, so onward and upward and um, thank you so much again for your patience. Uh, as I was uh, sick over the weekend last weekend, I wanted to get this to you earlier, but please let me know if you have any questions or if I can help. I'm around all next week. Um, I will be talking to you soon. Thank you so much again, Yvonne. Take care. Bye-bye.